Hey people of the interweb, I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Tell them, Phoenix, tell them what the truth is. Okay. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what is going on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Um, why would the boy have erased the photo he took? This is the only one that makes sense, the still Samurai didn't win. I can only think of one, I can think of only one reason, Your Honor. The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Well, Cody, I'm right, aren't I? Tell the truth, the bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. No, 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 wait! No! It's impossible. The, the, the Steel Samurai never loses. He never loses to anyone, ever! Okay, calm down, kid. Your Honor? Lunas has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. Same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's human. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Now don't you turn to the guy from Copier. O order! I will have order! Witness, I mean, Cody, is this true? W what did you see? Tell the court what you saw. I... Uh-oh. And here we go. Cody? That day, you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight. Right? Okay, okay. <laughs> You're right. The Steel Samurai fell down. Then he didn't move. Huh? I'm sorry. That's probably the only part I can't do without actually crying. Order! 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 What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet, according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? Apparently, we have all made a serious error. An error? What's this all about? I mean, Hammer was obviously the victim. That's obvious one way or the other. The Steel Samurai was the victim. Since we're not going by real life names, if you understand what really happened, it's actually quite simple. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. Dead. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer, he was the victim. Don't you see? Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. Order! 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 How many times am I going to be saying this? So the Steel Samurai in this photograph? You're saying the man in the costume was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Jack Hammer was present at the action scene run through the mor that morning. Thus, he obviously knew about Will Powers' foot injury. But, but wait! Hadn't Mr. Powers gone to Studio One already? That's what everyone thought. But remember what Miss Oldbag said in her testimony? On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Did I see a poor old hammer? Nope. He'd already gone to the studio before I got back to the guard station. And yet, he didn't. 
Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. Area. However, no one saw him going to Studio One. Nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Yeah, that, that is. But why would the victim do such a thing? I... don't know. I get it. What? The kid gets it before I do? What the hell? <laughs> I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. So it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Uh, me? W what? <laughs> Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Now you tell me? <laughs> yeah, a photo on my digital camera. Again, now you tell me? R now? <laughs> what? Show us, quick. No way, man. Not if you're gonna look at me like that. No. <laughs> Here. This is it. Jeez, guys. It's just a kid. He's like, what? Eight? Nine years old? That's not Studio One. Well, looking at this, it's still a little hard to say. That's freaking Studio Two! I'm afraid that it could be anyone in, s in that costume. Your opinion, Mr. Wright? I agree, Your Honor. This isn't decisive evidence. I'm sorry, that doesn't look like it's the proof we need. I'll give it back. Wait, Phoenix! Mia caught it. Mia? What? Look at the photo once more. That's it, Phoenix. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. What? <laughs> no! No! I mean, it's evidence enough to prove my client innocent, but no! <laughs> Your Honor, may I see the photo once more, please? S certainly. I don't see why not. Phoenix, show him. He's a glaring decisive inconsistency with the facts as we know them in that photo. I've, uh, yeah, she, she knows what I know. I mean, come on. The giant two! You could literally point on the sign up here or this over here. Well, no, not this, because that looks like that looks like an S. Why is my phone going off? Ah. Your Honor, look at this. Me walking away to turn my alarm off. Why in the world stop? Okay, look at this. I see a gate. Might I draw your attention to the number on that gate? The number? Oh, yes. Well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Hmm, now where'd we see the crime scene once again? Clearly not a one, Your Honor, correct? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Ugh. I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. But... That's impossible! Mm -hmm. Eh? What's all... Th oh my gosh. Come on, Judge! Please explain so that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. I'll use the studio guide map. This is just logic! How could you possibly get this wrong? The body was found here in Studio One. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on that gate in the photo. Your Honor, here's the true scene of the crime. And if this, this is true, so it kind of brings back the possibility of the, pr the producer or the director doing it. Here at Studio 2. I see. That would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, 
I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio 2. I mean, it's all three of these. All three of these are true. Fudge! I mean, the path was blocked, so... Anybody outside Studio 2 can have done it? I don't know. No filming is done there. I mean, yes, and I mean, yeah. Uh, the trailer is there. As you may recall, there was a trailer in Studio 2. Now, on that day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There was a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Miss D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. The path to the trailer was blocked. So we have heard. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, I suppose that would be the case. Remember Mr. Salmonella's testimony? Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to Studio One. Yet, in actuality, the reverse is true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this crime. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime. Studio Two. The order! Order! The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Miss Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a steel samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness! Jack Hammer is the victim! The victim! Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Are you suggesting he did so to cover up the details of his own murder? No? <laughs> well, no. Of course not. Hmm. Or do you have proof? Give me proof that the victim Jack Hammer stole the costume. The pills. I have proof. Y you do? You do, Mr. Wright? Now that they're so surprised suddenly, I'm much less confident. I think I'm right, though. Here's my proof that Jack Hammer stole the costume. Empty- it's sleeping pills. And we know the fact- the fact is that Will Powers took a nap at the time. This is why! <laughs> This is it. An empty medicine bottle. I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table where Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads sleeping pills. Sleeping pills? Yeah, that's what I just said. The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. Wait a moment. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there is no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. Your Honor, I have an idea. Fingerprint the bottle. An idea? Very well, let's hear it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. <laughs> oh, again, shots fired. Bang! Bang! <laughs> you lose! That's the wrong way. Loser! Loser, loser, chicken snoozer. <laughs> yep, he's, he's, he's sneezing chickens. Snoozer? No, he's snoring chickens. <laughs> I suppose you're right. 
Very well. The court will take possession of the bottle. Empty bottle given to the judge. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Cody Hacken's testimony has revealed new possibilities in this case. In fact, things may have happened very differently than we previously thought. The steel samurai seen by Miss Oldbag may have been the victim, Jack Hammer. The scene of the crime was not Studio One, but Studio Two. And those in the trailer did have time to commit murder. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? Also, who killed him and why? Find the answers for me by tomorrow. That's a lot of homework. <laughs> if you can figure this out and uh, this bar this much out in two days, I think you can figure that out, buddy. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth? Mm hmm. You will need to reconsider your stance in this case. Above all, you will need to reconsider your suspicion of Mr. Will Powers. As you say, Your Honor. This trial will be extended until tomorrow. This is the last extension. This is the first case in this game where they actually do that. Very well. Court is adjourned. Phew. That was a close one. You were saved by a hair. That's all that counts. I thought seriously about going home about three times during the trial. Mia! M me too. Really? You both seem so confident. <laughs> Maybe I should take up a career in acting. <laughs> I was ready to pronounce you dead about three times back there. Phoenix! Mia! Dead? Oh, of course we're kidding. Are you sure? I wasn't kidding. Now, Mr. Powers, we have to go make our final investigation. But I promise you, we'll find the true killer by tomorrow's k trial. R right, thanks. <laughs> How are you still crying? You're innocent, obviously. <laughs> Unless... Somehow, those sleeping pills weren't taken by you, and... I don't know, at this point. I don't know how to logic my way into your mind. Anyway. Did I just save over... Fuck. Alright, well, there's no redoing this episode. This... Thing... That was a close one, huh? Really? Too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. Maya? M Maya! So, what happened? Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is a motive and proof. Wow, good going, Nick. Under the initial trial system, tom oops, tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? There are three days to do it. That's a new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up. Honestly, this it wouldn't surprise me if this actually ends up happening. But, no. It's not the case as of right now, no. <laughs> so under that system, trials have to end in three days? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've no time to waste. At least... This would be a big thing on the news if I were the case, and I haven't seen any news about that. Let's see. Can I talk to you about anything? I don't get it, Maya. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the Steel Samurai costume? What?! Mr. Hammer was wearing the costume? Yeah. But Mr. Hammer was the victim, Nick. 
How did he go through the trouble of stealing it? That's what we have to find out. What happened with the director's testimony? Well, it's pretty clear that the producer and the director were both in the trailer. Huh. Which means that the killer has to be one of them. Really? Why? Because the real scene of the crime was Studio 2, where the trailer is. What? It's like... That's her expression the whole time, just... Ah! <laughs> Was Maya always this excitable? Well, have you noticed anything that might help us? I can't see what's going on when Mia is here. So no, I haven't noticed anything. Right. Maybe we should go talk to WP. WP. Powers. Right. Let's just... Here's my badge! Sorry, I don't know what how that will help us figure this out. It's my badge! I'm pulling out a joke that's already been used at least once in this... by somebody who's played this series. Mr. Wright, you did very well again today. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Um, could you not... Look like you're about to burst into tears. Wow, Nick. You must have really wowed him in there. And could you wipe that grin off your face? Hey, WP. One day left. Let me, let's make it count. Yes. Thought there was not... I thought... thought uh, though there's not really anything I can do to help. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I can do either. Please, this is no laughing matter. Could you tell me more about Miss Vesquez? Oh, the producer? She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. Genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong? Nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And? What? <laughs> nothing. Forget it. I I've only heard rumors anyhow. Um. Can you tell me anything about Mr. Manella? Oh, he used to be a minor straight-to-video director. But something in his work caught Vasquez's eye. She brought the Steel Samurai idea to him. Now everyone knows the name Sal Manella. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high, and all that. I can imagine him being at her beck and call, though. I can imagine her being at her beck and call. Though I can't imagine him jumping. <laughs> I was wondering how Mr. Hammer... About Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh. Yes, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in the business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How can he do that? I was really looking forward to a sequel to Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss Vasquez came to Global. Five years ago. I don't know if there's anything I can actually present to you right now. Let's go to the studio. See what we can get off of the Hi! Nothing? Nothing? The old windbag sure is quiet today. 
You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nothing? You're not even going to get back at her for that. Nick? I think your guard staff. Y yeah. I think we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if, if we wanted. You eat, you die. Okay. Whew, she's alive. Um. I'm skeptical to talk to you. Okay. Uh, I was wondering about these Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her. She, so she always gets her way. She seems bitter. Uh, I think you can figure out why. You not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Snide. Can I ask you about someone else, the director? So? He's soft, pushover, does whatever Vasquez tells him to. As we found out already. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. What? Huh? Why would anyone like being treated like dirt? That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Uh, no. No, it doesn't, Maya. <laughs> That's completely abnormal, actually. About Mr. Hammer. I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper. Poor old Hammer, you drag his star down from the sky and stop on it. Calling him a criminal, a thief. I, 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 I won't forget this. Uh-oh, she's really pissed this time. You listen to me, whippersnapper. My poor old Hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Paris' costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. Yeah, I got the feeling you're wrong about that. Is there anything here I can show her to make her change her mind or something? I don't freaking know. Okay, we're moving on. Bye! Actually, I think I was supposed to go the other way. Think back, Nick, to the day of the murder. Mr. Hammer put on the Steel Samurai costume. Then he left from here to go to Studio 2. Right. But why? I wonder if someone called him. Like the director or the producer. I don't know. I can tweet too. Sort of. <laughs> Not really. Hold on. Maybe I'm supposed to go to, uh... Because one of the questions I was supposed to answer is, like... How is the, like, how is the bottle involved? I believe? Like, something like that. How would he... What, ex like, pretty much what exactly happened? I guess it's not, fil not filming today, either. I did want to see them filming just one time. This trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. I guess... This is where you found the bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there's any other clues on your mind. Yeah! What are you, a pirate? I'm not sure if I should keep giving you this whole Scarface voice. No, no, no. No touching. Yeah, I'm going to keep giving you that voice. Eek! Hi, Gumshoe. Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. Frighten? I think you almost scared her to death! D didn't mean! I almost had a heart attack! <laughs> I guess I can be a little dramatic, dr dramatique at times. That is not how you spell dramatic. I suppose it's the actor in me. Dramatique indeed. <clears throat> anyway, I'm here to examine the plate on that table. Wait, are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Tracy's up there. Tracy's there. Okay. Let's examine it. See what you have to say. The remains of the employees' lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates, minus the steak. 
Okay. That wasn't the answer. So you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills? How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to these sleeping pills, see? If there are traces, it'll change color. Wow, neat! Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? Now, now, everything in due time, pal. And... Well, the testing solution on the plate changed color, all right. So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. Huh. Okay. How goes the investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. Okay, I'm gonna punch those who think the one the case against Powers in the face. Unless it's Edgeworth. Just because that's kind of what he's attempt it's he gets paid to do that, so that's not fair. Unless it's Edgeworth or you guys. If anybody else thinks so, I'm gonna punch him in the face. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think? What do you think, Detective Gumption? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Powers anymore. Well, you're not getting socked, I can tell you that much. By the way, what's with the bandage? How did you get that? I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. Yeah, I don't blame you. How is Edgeworth doing anyway? Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room, and he crushed this paper cup with a hot, hot coffee in it. Whoa! Talk about burns, pal. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups. Bottles. Say, whatever happened with the empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim Jack Hammer's prints on the bottle. So that means... Yep, it sounds like the one who put Powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Sleeping pill bottle added to the court record. Again. Alright, well time to move on. Nice chat, Gumshoe. Maybe I can get you to talk with this. Here, will this get you to talk? Um, Miss Oldbeck, what do you think of this? Think? I'm in no mood for thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Okay, same thing. Okay, guess not. I tried. <laughs> And move over to Studio 2. Hi, Vasquez. Hey, Nick. It's Miss Vasquez. I know. Hello? H Hello? H A L L O! M Maya, you should at least try to be polite. I'm watching the cuts. That's all she had to say, apparently. <laughs> um, excuse me. Mr. Armour came here on the day of the murder, and... Shh. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I am watching the cuts. Yeah, yeah. I'm not interested in, in talking to you. Do something, Nick. She's really ticking me off. Oh, dear. <laughs> I doubt she's going to want to talk about these either. Um, uh, Mr. Powers wasn't the killer. 
You don't have to cancel the Steel Samurai. I think I'm tired of the Steel Samurai. You, you did it. You, you did it. Nick, she did it. She's the killer. My fate blood speaks to me. I know it. I know it. Okay, calm down, Maya. Calm. Calm the F down. <laughs> okay. Peace be to all those who stay calm. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, I was wondering if you could tell me about Mr. Mello. If you must talk about that man, perhaps you could talk about it in the trip. By yourself. Oh, dear. Alright, fine! How about this? She's not even looking. Okay. Hey, you. Hey, you look. Well, why are you showing me? Why are you showing that to me, Nick? Why are you showing that to me, Nick? Oh, I think I get it. I, I think I get what the game wants me to do. All right, time to move to the trailer. Was it the assistant cleaning up yesterday? Funny, it still seems pretty messy in here. I guess she was still on a high from getting that race card and she needed. What, nothing? Oops, I meant to, there we go. This is where they had the meeting. There are documents and paper cups scattered around. Okay. Looks like they were designing a set to use for the Steel Samurai show. They've got they've got some figures for how much the set costs. I can't believe they spent they spend that much money on those sets. I don't believe it, pal. Believe it, pal. <laughs> Old movie poster. Okay, so these. Oh my god! Oh my god! That movie was the best. It's all about a samurai who sings his way to fame and fortune. Honestly, that sounds horrifyingly bad. Mr. Hammer was a very accomplished singer, you know. Singing samurai stars? What's next? Ninja ballet? Nah. If we're going ballets here, it's probably boxers. Or something like that, since we've got singing samurai stars. Boxing and boxing ballets. Ballets, ballets. Yeah, that's how you say it. That's how I say it, apparently. I'm not particularly... Hold on. Maybe go back out and examine a couple of things. Okay, move outside to Studio 2. Examine this first. A light band for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it, it run fine. Well, let's go for a drive. Sure, if I had a license. Nick, you don't have a license, a driver's license? But look, I have this. Why are you showing me your attorney's badge, Nick? <sighs> Sorry. An incinerator. Apparently they just put this one in. It's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. This is where Sal Manella and D. Vasquez ate. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they had T-bone steaks too. Are you sure? There's nothing left on the plates unless they ate the bone. Something wrong? I don't know. I'm getting this funny feeling. Something about this just feels odd, you know? Can't say that I do. I can! How redonkulous are you? Hey, hey you. Hey you. Okay, hey you. Well, why are you sure? Oh, that's me. God damn it. I feel like there's going to be something that'll trigger this, but what? Maybe I'm in the wrong place right now. Okay, let's go outside Studio One and move over to 
Studio One itself. Oh, I can't go to Studio One anymore. Oh, that's right, because I gave up the card. Duh. So, what am I supposed to do? Present something. Um, missile deck? What? Get that filth out of my sight! And you were claiming that poor old hammer in there. And I thought you were such an innocent you. Bah! You never thought that. Okay. Oh my gosh. You have nothing else to say. Is that the only thing I missed? I'm literally scamming it. I think it. I'm scamming. Yep. Kami, I did it. I scammed the whole thing. None of this is real. Money, obviously. The only place I haven't been yet. Hey, Gumshoe. You present something. It's looking like Will Powers is drunk. I'm going to go back to the precinct to do some more detailed tests. You're being very free with your information today, Detective. Well, don't go telling anyone this, pal. But I was kind of impressed at today's trial, too. Most lawyers would have given up after the director's testimony. I think it'd be... If it's been anyone but you up there, powers would be done for by now. Fair enough. I think I already showed him the sleeping pills. I'm at a complete loss. Guess examine a couple of things. Okay, I already examined the one thing that really matters. Okay, let's move into the dressing room. That's the only place I haven't been yet. Oh, there you are. Oh, hello! What are you doing here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... Wh what Why? But WP's innocent. Yes, and I'm really grateful for all you've done. But... This week is the last episode of The Steel Samurai. What?! No! Are you okay? Just like, that's her for like hours on end. Going home just like... That's it. Just that. Okay, let's talk to you, Mr. Hammer. I was wondering if you could, uh, if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes? On the day of the murder, he was in, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio One. You gotta remember, she wasn't in the area at the time. He stole the Steel Samurai costume, too. What? Why would Mr. Hammer do such a thing like that? Oh. I guess the rumor must be true, then. The rumor? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Miss Vasquez, the producer had some kind of hold on Hammer. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dirt. You know, bad stuff. Well, kind of figured that one. Um, I know what dirt means. About five years ago, they were filming a movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio Two. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. Film set. Was that trailer part of that film set? Then. Alright, well, we'll find out more about this next time, because I am going to leave this video here. Whoops. Should probably get out of this. Ah, I can't control my controller right now. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, we'll figure out what's going on throughout. You know what? We're actually close. I believe we're very close to what's going on, so I'll just continue. Uh, five years ago. Next accident five years ago. 
Yes, in Studio 2. That trailer, that there was part of the film set. You tell us what happened? S sorry I don't think I can. You really don't want us to talk about it. Really? What, what do you mean? The okay. This is irrelevant. I feel like it's unnecessary. No. no. I could imagine Maya bawling at this point. Studio policy? Apparently we're talking about this. Studio big wigs don't want this to They want to forget too much. That's the problem. You can't just erase the past. Sorry. Find something new. I'm betting because they already had Salmonella already had something in mind. No, that can't be true. If the program just stands, they'll be heartbroken for sure. But Nick, say something. What the hell am I supposed to say? Uh, yeah. I think evidence rather than words is called for here. Oh, I know what to show her. Here, take a look at this. And this is... A fan collected all of these photos. Kids love the Steel Samurai. You should know! Show shouldn't be cancelled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay. Well, what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Could you tell us what happened five years ago? Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago, someone died, and it was Hammer's fault. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, producer Miss Vasquez managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer. And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Miss Vasquez asked him to do. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid of what would happen to his career if word got out. Really? If I remember correctly, I don't think it was an accident. Or maybe it was. I don't know. I see. You know... Who knows more about this? Miss Oldback. She was here at the studios back then, you know. Thanks. We'll try asking her. Yeah, if she'll talk. What? You're still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over for me? Oh, shut the crap. The old one back doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to for, to forget Hammer. Who do they think making Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? D Vasquez. Hammer, it's all due to Hammer. She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep a safe distance. Um, I wanted to ask you about five years ago. Who told? Who did you hear that from? I, uh... Huh? Nichols! N Nichols? N Nichols? Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols. The assistant we talked to. Well, that girl's smarter than I am. Maybe she should be the attorney. I should be the assistant. Uh, oh, right. Anyway, we heard about that accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Whippersnappers! 
dredging up dirt on someone's past like that, and th the recent departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun? No, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume? You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? I showed the proof in court! Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume. Yes! I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Powers' costume. You remember this little schnit dig? Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? Well, yes, so? This is the plate that he used to eat the steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the plate. <laughs> I bet Powers put it in there himself. Why would he do that? Even a lightweight like him must have trouble sleeping sometimes. Except I have proof that Mr. Hammers put the pills in. The pills himself. This bottle contains sleeping pills. Mr. Hammer's fingerprints were found on the bottle. And bang goes the dynamite. I see. Oh, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. The soul back? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? I'm tired of holding it all in. Salt bag. You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vesquez. She has ties to the mafia. She silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with, here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand, poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. The salt bag. Hold on a minute. I'm a salt bag. Here, take this. A photograph? Okay, I'm gonna assume this is that time period. Okay! Wait a second. This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight with the bad guy on the top. Oh. Hammer was supposed to fight with the bad guy on top of those stairs there. He pushed the other actor and the man fell onto the flower box fence. How did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Five-year-old! Okay. Dang. I feel bad for old bag now. At first I hated her guts. I'm pretty sure this is everyone, but now I feel really bad. Hey! Hey you, maybe you'll find interest in this. She's not even looking. What? What? What did you get that? I, well. Oh, that. Uh, old. She needs a security thing. This old back, Nick. Right. Anyway. Miss Vasquez. You hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. Huh? It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind? No, I don't feel any difference. <laughs> Your conversation interests me. Oh, great. Now you want to talk? Let's talk about it more inside the trip. Nick, she went inside the trailer. You kind of assumed so. All right. Okay. Well then, what was that you were talking about? Why is she so eager to talk all of a sudden? Miss Vasquez, you were using that accent. Accident. 
You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kids' shows for petty change. Hm. So, I'm blackmailing now? Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I mean, sure, it was an accident. But he used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place as a star. Oh. I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's grit went sour of its own cock. But what? You are the cause. You pressured him. And to think it was just an accident. Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accident. Accident. How are you so shut? What do you mean? It wasn't an accident, was it? Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would it be if it wasn't an accident? Murder. Crap. No. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it on... Come on, Phoenix. That is what I mean. Where's your proof? Can you prove it? <laughs> Just think. Would he have let me run his life for five years over a mere accident? And I ran him hard, believe you me. But what? The security lady said it was an accident. Yeah, but that's from an outsider's perspective. Plus, she was in love with the guy, remember? Pretty much. Oh, well, she was a big fan, Hammer Cece. See? <laughs> she jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hands. She did. Gave him a few bruises, too. Damn. She had some fight in her back then, at least. So that's why she had the photo. She's an old fool. Of course. All the reporter would need it, and the negatives. He could have made a copy. But he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. Well, what? This is valuable evidence. Boys. Oh, boy. Boys? Ah. Uh... Who are they? Men in Black. Haven't you seen the movie before? <laughs> Professionals. The good at erasing dirtiest things. Oh, okay, they're not the Men in Well. Is that how you describe the Men in Black? What do you think? Would you like to be erased? Okay, never mind. They're not the Men in Black. It's Area 51. <laughs> what? trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. Tell me why. Why do you want this photograph so badly? This is Mr. Hammer's dirt. No. Why should D. Vasquez care about it at all? I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to think about that where you're going. So long, friends. Boys? Erase it. No! Hold it right there! Yes, go to! Yeah! I heard everything, pal. D. Vasquez, you're coming down to the precinct with me now. Hm. Not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow then. In court. I'll be looking forward to it. Thank you! <laughs> hey, you okay, pal? Sorry I was a little late with my entrance. I don't get many chances to, par to practice that sort of thing. Detective Gumshoe. Thank you, thank you, thank you! I was really scared. Yeah, we could see that. Huh? Don't mention it, pal. Just doing my job. Detective Gumshoe? Sorry, it's just... 
I've wanted to say that line ever since I became a detective. Okay, I've got one more job to do today. I'm sure we'll run into each other again soon. Okay, I think we've got an idea of exactly what happened now. Well, Luke, it looks like we're getting close to the bottom of this. And who's at the bottom? D. Vasquez. All right. This okay. I thought that one episode that was like 50 minutes was gonna be the longest. This is the longest episode. So we're going to do the third trial, final trial, next time. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Got any suggestions for me, just let me know in the comments below. Or if you want to check out any of the other various stuff that I've done in the past or I might be currently working on now, click the box down over there. In the meantime, come out and I'll see you guys later. Bye!